aka Thanatos, and Whoopty Bird. Hey, everybody. Whoopty Bird. It says we've been live for 20 seconds. I don't 20 seconds. Know. Oh, my goodness. This stream yard. TJ sent me a message last night, and he was like, just FYI, I know you're not really like in it anymore, but uh, everybody's moving over to StreamYard, so I downloaded it, and here we go. I usually use like Streamlabs OBS, but I think that would be difficult. Like it's easy with Google Hangouts that you can like move stuff over with everybody having it, but I uh, haven't really figured it out for Streamlabs yet. Blade Runner Blade 4 Runner. is in the house. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah, it worked out. All right, so I think I got this figured out. Backseat driver, hey, hey, hey. So, what are you drinking right now, Whoopi Bird? Drinking this, 291 American Whiskey from uh, the 291 Distillery in a uh, Super Grow glass. Mm, I got my, my Green Lantern cup, and I got some Glen Morangi La Santa. Nice. Um, yeah, so Mr. Comics 89 says everybody on tonight. We, uh, we're actually going to do this at 7, and then we realize like everybody and their mother. By a mother, yeah. everybody, I mean, like Comics NYC was on, and I know the comic book was on. Um, so I, I didn't want to, we didn't want to like, we want to give them some time. So if people are watching them, that's fine. We'll, we'll just do our own thing. Um, I didn't even check where they done. I think I think uh, NYC and that crew was done. Oh. I didn't check the other guy, so. Well, I have to go to bed, so I have to <laughs> do this later than than right now. It's, still, it's guys, look at the look at the uh, blinds behind him. It's still daylight there. It is. <laughs> and, and if I go to bed right now, I get like seven hours of sleep. So. <laughs> anyway, cheers. Cheers, man. Clink. Mm. Ooh, that is sharp. You can taste That's a good one. Berry. That uh, that one cube just takes enough off of it that it doesn't kill you. But yeah, I like it. They they won some awards at the uh, Breckenridge Craft Spirits Festival of 14, 15, and 16, the People's Choice Award. So Yeah, man, 291 is delicious. It's also very expensive. There's like a black mark in the bottom. This uh, somebody gave us that when we had our housewarming party. Nice. Oh, that's a that's a good housewarming gift. Yeah, it's been. Uh, I've had this for a year, and I've only drank that much. Wow, I cannot do that. That is impossible for me. Literally. <laughs> so, I drink the I drink the cheap stuff. Well, that is not the cheap stuff. No. Tina Karanson in the house. I don't know if I say that right. Karanson. Karanson. It looks sounds like you're saying it right. <laughs> Tina, son of Kara. Son. Well, I'm, I would imagine that's daughter of. Well, I just like it's correct. Never mind. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I see I see what you're doing. It, it just didn't work well. So we both got some books back from CGC. Yep. My first ever submission. Yep. And uh, so let's we can talk about um, how that process went for you. Uh, I got some books back from CGC, just, just three of them other than the ones that uh, I got recently, but these are, two of them are. So, so I have a question. I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut you off. What's the protocol here? Should I be looking at the camera? Should I be looking at you looking at chat? It feels weird. I feel like I should be staring at the camera. Like when I make my videos, I, I'm but, but then I can't see what's going on. I watch, I watch you. I don't watch the camera. Okay. I think you I'll watch you in chat. Camera, then it's creepy. You're like staring at, us. I don't know. Yeah. I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's some weird YouTube. I'm sorry, I, I cut you off. You were you were talking oh, about your so, uh, so yeah, so we have we have some books to show. Uh, the slabs that I have are grade reveals from um, TJ's, like they're T from from TJ's AOKs. Actually, his first AOK. These have been gone for like six months, um, but I just sub two of his books, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then I got some hey bake hey gorilla grud. What's going on, Bake the Snake, Gorilla Grog? Uh, and then I got just some comic book call stuff, and then Melody had a big upgrade um, happen recently, and I've got both of those books. Well, it wasn't much of an upgrade. You're still there. Yeah, I am not. <laughs> 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 so, 
so yeah um not too sure how we wanted to start this you want me to just show you the, the comic book haul stuff that i got recently actually in the mail before we get into cgc stuff yeah we can do that i got some too i mean i could go through some of the line i've, I've did i mean i've got this stack there but the yeah. things that i need to do. and i can i can do it now instead of doing it on a video that be kind of cool. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm live. Like people on YouTube are watching me. Actually, they're watching you, and I'm just here. They're like, "Who the fuck is that ugly, scraggly bearded guy?" A whole twelve of us. You left. Oh, you're in trouble. Say goodbye. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> um. So we can talk about uh. Whoopi Bird and I just met. Uh oh. I'm still here. Your face is frozen, Matt. Is it? Oh, there you kind of came back. Oh, you're back. I'm back. Weird. Geek aficionado. 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 What's up? Um, so we met Donnie Cates the other day at the Iron Lion on Saturday, uh, the 27th. And he that was, was a cool dude. That was super cool. Um, I waited in line. Whoop -de I didn't. In line. He just hung out and it still worked out. I shouldn't have. Yeah. Done that. <laughs> so, so, so I walk up, Matt's waiting in line. I just, I didn't bring my books with me to get signed. I walk in and I'm talking to one of the workers and, and he actually walked up to me and commented on my shirt. It was, it was surreal. <laughs> and then I went and told everyone not to talk to him. Well, I really just told you, but um, because he went to extreme midget wrestling the night before and yelled a lot and didn't have a voice anymore. And then what else did I say? He was going to, he wasn't going to sign Venom number three. Yeah, he was and, Rob Liefeld it. And he was gonna he was gonna uh, write Rob Liefeld's name on New Mutants eighty seven and ninety eight. Ninety seven. What the fuck? What's up, ninety eight. Yeah, but it turned out it turned out I think really well. Um it definitely brought a lot of good publicity to the Iron Lion. They've been doing some great things, I think, for the comic community in Colorado Springs. Um and yeah, I the only reason I waited in line was because someone in line actually said that I, it's stupid because I'm friends with Andrew and Ricky and all them at the Iron Lion. And I didn't hear anything about like the first few people getting anything cool. Uh, but then someone in line was like, yeah, I heard the first like 10 people might get something. Cool. Looks like I <laughs> in line. Um, hear that mechanical keyboard going. I don't think it is mechanical. I think it's just old. It's a really loud keyboard. Well, my, my microphone is like right here next to it, though. Mistakes. Well, mine is too, so I'm, I'm going to try to avoid the keyboard as much as possible. Yeah, I don't know why I typed. I could actually have said it. Is that one of the local strip clubs? <laughs> oh, man. But uh, so I – did you get you, did you end up getting book signed? Yes. Obviously, you didn't watch my last video. Oh, you just posted it. I don't. I don't watch it. <laughs> I don't watch it. What? Uh, what did you get signed? I got. Oh, you didn't. You didn't get any graded, huh? No, I didn't do graded. I got the uh, Guardians Seven with the Carnage Eyes cover. Nice. That's the. Uh, oops, over here, signature. And then, of course, everyone's favorite Venom Number Three, first appearance of Null. Um, you can kind of see it there in the middle. Yeah. This is the fourth printing. It's the black and white down here with the cool. colored venom. But I, I love the way it looks. Yeah, that's all I got signed. I was kind of hoping since I brought him some beer, he would like do a sketch, but he just signed him quick. And Did you, someone had a sketch variant, and he drew a venom on it. And I was like, yep. if I had known that that was an option, I would have done that. I would have done that over everything else. Yeah, I don't know if he paid extra or if he just said, hey, will you do it? And he said, sure. Yeah, we'll see. I guess we'll, I mean, we won't see, but I'll have to ask um, Andrew. Um, I had a God Country number one, the 25th anniversary blind box sketch variant um, that I had signed. The new Silver Surfer Black, the Delato cover signed. And I got a Cosmic Ghost Rider number one, the variant B, which I thought was pretty cool. The Dia, Diodato, Diodato cover. Um, and all three of those went to CGC, and man, that is a that is expensive. Between the <laughs> CGC grading fees, uh, the quick presses, all that stuff is going to add up. So that's gonna well, you, you and I, you and I chatted prior to this, and 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 I am not, you know, 
the the big money guy. I would be, but I have a wife that keeps me in check, so that's good. Um, but they were charging twenty bucks for a witnessing fee. Now, I, I wanted I didn't ask you. Did you pay twenty bucks per book for witnessing? Yep. That is ridiculous. Yeah. I I could almost accept a one time twenty dollar fee for all of your books, one book or ten books, but twenty per is that's just stupid. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. Like when when she rang it up and she told me, I was like, "Oh my goodness!" The Kate Sigs were ten bucks each. Yeah, ten bucks each. But he was taking pictures and stuff for free, and he was he was sitting, he was chatting with people. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it was a it was a no, it was a it was a CGC facilitator. I'm not too sure who it was. I've never seen him before. Ricky it, Ricky said he knew, knew him, but he rolled in at like eleven fifty eight, and the event started at noon. Yeah. And he was only there for four hours. Seems kind of like a lazy guy. Well, Donnie was supposed to be there till seven and left early. And when I was, I hung out there for a little bit after he left and a guy came in and he was pretty upset that he wasn't there anymore. Yeah. And it wasn't seven yet. So uh, Shelby was kind of dealing with that. You leave? Uh, just after five. Oh, well, was it busy? No. Yeah. See, Dude, you know. I, came, I came in, they were packing up. I got my cigs and had, you know, had the beer with him and, uh, he drank two, <laughs> and then uh, him and Ricky headed up to Denver. I don't know if he was catching a plane or what the deal was there, but yeah. Omega Comics said uh, ten bucks for Kate's is not that bad, better than sixty for Liefeld. One hundred percent agree. I wouldn't pay sixty for Liefeld, and I love the man. Liefeld couldn't pay me to take his signature. Shelby actually said I should sign uh, the the six pack of beer I brought for Donnie. Sign it, Whoopty Bird. <laughs> it's fantastic. At our comic shop, we got 10 cigs for 10 bucks if you had a pool list. That's pretty cool. That's cool. I mean, $10 really isn't that bad. Donny Cates is a for sure rock star. Yeah. Um, like he is what Todd McFarlane and Rob Liefeld were in the 90s, I think. Like I think I think he will be that. He is he is writing great stuff. Yeah. But um, as a writer, he is that's more impressive almost. He he's also an artist, but yeah, he's he's writing. I I couldn't come up with those stories, and he's just a Cool dude, man. Uh, I he, told he was, Bert when uh, when I went up to talk to him, um, I asked him like, "Hey, man, when are you when are you going to start writing the Green Lantern after uh, Grant Morrison's done and stuff? You gonna you gonna jump on that?" And he he talked about his Marvel uh, his Marvel contract and everything, and he'll see he'll see what 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 happens after it ends. But um, he was saying that he like went back and was like, "Yeah, before I signed with Marvel, DC asked him to write Green Lantern Corps." And I'm like, you mean like Jeff Johns was writing Green Lantern and I forgot who wrote Green Lantern Corps, but they were two separate pieces. Could you imagine a Jeff Johns and Donny Cates Green Lantern, Green Lantern Corps like mashup? That would have been ridiculous. But he did <laughs> say that if he ever writes Green Lantern and he also said he would crush it. He said, yeah, I would crush Green Lantern and he would because he, he would for sure. But uh, he did say that he hates the emotional spectrum and would kill off all the other lanterns. And that made you sad. That did. I was pretty sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said uh, he said he loved Green Lantern. Like Hal Jordan's one of his favorites. So, but yeah, killing off the emotional spectrum would be would be sad, but getting a Donny Cates Green Lantern would be probably worth it. He would take it in a totally new direction. That'd be pretty cool. How cool would it be to like read these comics when you're younger and then when you're older, you're writing them. Like after you've spent 20 years like learning the mythos and stuff and being able to make your own stories with them. That'd be pretty badass. Um, I'm, I'm not inventive enough to write comics, yeah. though. So, yeah. So, Donny Cates was awesome. Um, those books, I guess, will come back eventually. Uh, so, I've just got, I just got a few books that I'm going to show um, that just came in today from Sanctum Santorum. And they are... This arrow number one art germ. She looks smart. One of the she's super smart. <laughs> First, uh, like Chinese American. I don't even know if she's American. She might just be Chinese uh, superheroes. So that was kind of cool. I got what is it? Superman thirteen. That's super, a cool cover. Super nice, Adam Hughes. I was going to say, is that your boy? That is my boy. And then I got the Vampirilla 
number one, Adam Hughes, which is not quite my favorite. Like this, the head up here looks kind of funky. She looks like a like a Katy Perry reject sucking on a thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what what uh, retailer and center that incentive that was, and then I got the sketch of that. I was gonna put them here, but I don't think it's not high enough. I need to figure that out. So I got that. And then this one came. You need the uh, the Overstreet guides there again. This is the. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that Vampirla is a reuse of um, Vampirla number one from like late, or like in the 90s or something. Um, yeah, this is Vampirla. This is a preview of his number two issue. His number two issue uh, of Vampirla is going to have a, a art germ is his like the number one cover. Um, or cover A, but this was a one in twenty five incentive for Vampirilla number one. So, do you remember when uh, Ricky was talking about Greg Horn reusing images and stuff? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think it's pretty funny. Our guy, our our friend Ricky, that works at the Iron Line or is I don't know a consultant for the Iron Line. He works with Greg Horn, and uh, super awesome guy. I'm a uh, I'm a big, big fan of his. Trying to get a couple of things. I got these um, Saturday at the Iron Lion. These are uh, I Hate Fairyland number 18. So I got the uh, the Virgin cover. That's a cool cover. Is that I a like guy? That. That's a uh, that's like the Queen when she comes back. If you've read the story. Oh no. Um, I yeah. Mask from it for a second. And then uh, and then I got the uh, Not Safe for Work variant. Fuck Fairyland. <laughs> my my goal is to get all twenty or twenty one, twenty two, however many of, of the fuck ones. I really like this. If you ever want the hookup with uh, for Greg Horn, uh, we know a guy. Yep. He can hook it up. He literally goes to every single con, and he works Greg Horn's booth. Like that's all he does, and he goes to almost every big con. It's pretty pretty amazing. He just got back from San Diego Comic Con. And I'm sad because I, I wish I had sent him a bunch. Of, if I had known that, his booth was right next to Adam Hughes. <laughs> so sad. He could have got that uh, that print for you and brought it back. Um, Mr. Comics 89, if you are in the Springs area, it's definitely worth checking out. Like, I don't know what, six, when they opened up like a year, a year and a half ago, it hasn't been that long. They opened before we move. So probably a year and a half. They do have a lot of um, Amazing Spider-Man back issues. Yeah, I, and they 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 buy collections and huge collections. So yeah, um, when I just like six months ago, they bought a collection from ASM four through four hundred. Um, so I'm sure they still have some of those. A lot of like their glass case uh, books are all old um, Spider-Man Spider-Man books. I think I bought a Spider-Man. I bought the first Lizard. First Lizard. For my college channel, um, this is the the Iron Lion uh, Geek Aficionado. Aficionado, uh, they are our LCS down in Colorado Springs. Really good pre people. The prices, they they go. Off, go away. I'm here. I promise. I'm looking for something. <laughs> they they go off of yeah. ASM six is what I got. Uh, what uh, the Comic Colics picked up, and I think I got it for like a hundred something dollars. 110 bucks. Uh, I picked I, I picked this one up there. That's 148. Um, I didn't pay very much for it. 10, 15 bucks, something like that. It, it's not in great condition, but it's not terrible condition either. So I got a first tarantula for 15 bucks. Um, I have picked up a Hulk 180 from them, and I got that for 150. Do we, no, do we have? It was like 125. A Hulk 180. That was that was when they first, when I first met them. Um, and that ended up being like a 6.0 after I got it graded. So you can, the deals are there, but they do, they will go off of eBay's most recent for like bigger books. And then every Wednesday on Facebook, go on, if you go on their Facebook, they have the Iron Lion Vault. And uh, every Wednesday they have a live auction that they do and people just snatch stuff up. There were the last two weeks. Um, have been really good just because everyone's saving their money for San Diego and New York Comic Cons. Yeah. And so sales haven't been. He was telling me they were like $600 down wow. each week for sales, but kind of expected with the two big cons that, that are going, you know, going on. 
Yeah. Except so DS. DS comics. So is 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 TJ in here? I have something to show him. Uh, I don't think he is. I've, I've got some uh, packing material. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have a better copy of that, don't you? I do. <laughs> Somewhere. All right. I don't, so I don't know where it is. <laughs> folks, let's. Uh, we'll get into the slabs. Um, do you want to go for it, or do you want to do like one at one each? We can do one at one. I've got. I'm going to show all mine. Okay. Like all well, of them. Let's go one at a time. So I'll go with my first one. Um, this was not a TJ book. This is a book that I got. Uh, Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen, 134. The first appearance of Darkseid in a cameo, but the first expensive Darkseid appearance, I guess. Um, Can I guess? I don't really know what this is. I'm going to say, what year is it? 70? Yep. 96. Oh, I wish. This is a 6.0, brother. Yeah. 6.0 off-white pages. I, I got this for super cheap, so I was pretty pumped. Um, this book is slowly getting pricier. I was actually kind of surprised. I thought it would do a little better than it did, but um, not mad about it. So that's the first dark side. It looks good. Man, that is a lot of – look at that light. Yeah. Oh, look. look I just do it right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, if you guys watch my videos, I won't hide the grade on this. Um, this was the first slab I ever got. I bought it on eBay. I think I paid 30 bucks for it shipped. Um, unfortunately, when we got here, it had a, uh, a busted corner. But uh, Gwen Pool, holiday special. Well, not, oh, fuck me. Here, hold on. There, can you see that? Does that look good? Yes. <laughs> um, but you can see here the the oh. crack. I, I, I ended up getting my money back for it. I didn't, and they let me keep it. So all that worked. Um, I was really upset though. My first ever slab and it was cracked. Yeah. That, I remember that. That was, that sucked, but the, the, he, he gave you your money back and you got a free book. Right. So, so it all worked out. I mean, it was, I, I picked it up cause it was cheap. It was a nine, six. I'm like, okay, well first slab paying, you know, 30 bucks. That's fine. And, uh, but yeah. Free. Free. Um, yes. DS Comics, this is a Neil Adams cover and a Jack Kirby story. So that's that guy. Um, and then I'll do... So you guys already know, this This is Melody's copy of uh, X-Men 101, um, off-white to white pages, and uh, first appearance of the Phoenix. And I, <laughs> we talked about getting it like pressed cleaned and re-slabbed because I really don't think that they did a good job. Like it shouldn't be a 5.5. Um, like the main concern was like creasing up the cover. Um, so I've kind of kept my eye out on auctions and stuff and, and the Phoenix books have kind of been dropping in, in value, especially auctions. The auctions are not selling for much. So I, uh, I saw one and it was ending pretty short. Like it was ending pretty soon. So I just jumped on it. Uh, I barely looked at the comic. I just saw that the greens were nice and uh, put a put a last second bid in. And I'm, I am I like it and it's a nice upgrade, but the wrap is really bad. This is going to piss you off, Wookie Bird. Um, oh, so, I, and then you go Marvel with their really crappy wrapping. This one has like, uh, it's perfect down the side. And then it like, the white starts to show, you know, like the line. So what, is that from the 90s? This is from 76. Okay, so a lot older. That's yeah. That was like all those 90s books were like that, man. It was yeah. it's, all those uh, ASM 361s. Yeah, the 361s, you've been having a hard time. Um, so, yeah, so like this wrap bothered me because it, it's it's not – it's like good, and then you start to see the white, and it bugs me that it like skews. So I just went ahead and, and bought this upgrade, and I got it for a good price. And I'm sure Melody's pretty pumped about it. Yes. I got a 9.0. Um, but you can see that the 30 is cut off. <laughs> like, if you look at the back, the wrap goes all the way on the back, which really kind of, it, it's going to bug me if I look at the back. Luckily, I'm not going to look at the back. Um, but I do like that there's no white on it. It's just a fully painted cover type. 
But yeah, 9.0 white pages, which is a nice upgrade from the I think off white pages, off white to white. And the green, like my, my important thing for me with this one is like the sharp greens and the bright yellow. And obviously, but yeah. And there, yeah, there's, it was, it was wrapped like that. So there's no pressing it out or anything. That's, that's Melody's upgrade. Yeah, it's a big, big upgrade. Yeah, it's, well, um, I'm probably going to send off her other one, uh, her 5.5, to get um, pressed and regraded, and we'll see what that comes back. I could have sworn it was like a 7.0 when I sent it in. So this was a uh, this was a purchase. Um, I got this when I got the other one. I don't think you have seen this one. I bought this actually to sell to a guy at work. To which he then turned around and got a three signed gold label of this. And so I'm kind of with it. So hopefully it'll go up a little bit, but uh, spider Gwen, number one, Scotty young variant. Nice. 9.8 white pages, um, which it should be. There we go. That's big, a good there. Big fan of that. Uh, what's his name? Scotty young. I love Scotty. Young, man. The little, the, the little people he does, not little people, but you know, <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't have a way to display this. <laughs> there we go. I don't want to cover up Stan though. But yeah, I bought that to uh to sell to a guy at work. And I'm not getting you, man. The day it came in, he's like, look at this. I'm I'm bidding on this. And I'm like, shit. <laughs> Let's see. Is it does anyone know if like if I do this and then like when he shows a comic, if I can like switch to him? I'm trying to click on you, it doesn't work. Hellblazer. Like yeah, hey, hey, John, I, I, I am kind of stupid for Scotty Young. Matt gives me crap for it. John's Comics with Kids recently hit 700 subscribers. Well, I have a 5.5 that might become available, but I don't know. I, I might, I might send it off to get regraded. But I'm sure Melody. <laughs> Thank fun. you, backseat drivers. Too Melody much Thanos on the screen. On the screen. If it went to your kids, it would be kind of cool, or I guess your collection, not just your kids. Ooh, well, I guess I, I showed that book the other day. There was one more book that I haven't shown. Dun, dun, dun. Speaking of four. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, you know what that is? It looks like Peter A. Bill. No, it's a. Uh, I think that's, that's Loki in the back there. This is Thor number one. The first appearance of Jane Foster as uh, Lady Thor, I suppose, in my mind. As, as Thor. I'm calling it. And this is the one in 300 Alex Ross sketch variant. Very nice. That's why I'm I'm on the train of, I hope, I hope that becomes the, like the true first appearance of her, because having a one in three hundred would be really really fun. Yes, I'm in Colorado Springs. Oh, and we met uh, Geek Strings and Comics while we were there. At, uh, we did. Who's there with this kid? Cool guy. I like that guy. But she takes the mantle as Thor. But do they call her Jane? I mean, they don't call her Jane. They call her Thor, right? I don't know. <laughs> you get you guys ready for this? I'm all for Jane Foster as Thor in a movie. I can't stand Natalie Portman. I hate her. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm removing you from the stream. Thank you. We'll you. Are. <laughs> I I do not like her. I don't think she's a good actress. I don't think she's good looking. I just don't like her at all. You don't think she's a good actress? I bet her Academy no. Award would beg to differ. That's fine. I have an award somewhere I could find. <laughs> I bet it's not an Academy Award. I could say it's from the Air Force Academy. Nope. Or the Academy of Assholes or something. I don't know. <laughs> I love Natalie Portman. I am all in on Natalie Portman as Lady Thor and Jane Foster. 
It'd be awesome. You, you notice, right? There were three Thor movies. Two of them had Natalie Portman, and they weren't that good. One of them did not have Natalie Portman, and it was a smashing success. Coincidence? Who was the so. director of that? The first Joaquin two, Titi. The first two Thors. Oh, I don't know. And who controlled the castings? Like the only reason that Natalie Portman signed on for Thor one was because she was told that she was going to have a lead role. She wasn't going to be the damsel in distress, like romance piece. She was going to have like a real role. And then they, so, they so then she shouldn't have signed on for it. They totally screwed her. That's why she was like, I'm not coming back because you guys, and here she is. Yeah. Well, no, because she agreed because now she gets a lead role. She has like a Titi directing, like she's pumped. The original, who I forgot who the CEO was. It the CEO uh, and president of um, <laughs> of Marvel. Yeah, I, I was insinuating that, John. Yes, yes, I was. <laughs> I, I understand what you're saying, but I was just drawing that the coincidence was there were three Thor movies she was in two. They weren't that good. She wasn't in the other one, and it was really good. <laughs> um, who is the female director? That did. Dang it. Um, yeah, so the Marvel Entertainment CEO was a, a super big misogynist, like hated women in, in lead roles. And that's why the director that he originally picked or considered for one of the Thors or someone considered, um, she was like, no, I'm out. He, this guy is a total pig. Like he's the guy is awful. And I'm I'm not one to like push that whole me too thing, but like he is an asshole. So I totally don't blame Natalie Portman for being like, I don't want anything to do with, yeah, the Wonder Woman um, director. She was going to do, uh, I think, Thor 2 or Thor 1, but like she quit because he was such a douche. Um, and I think Disney recognized that and they're kind of like overstepping him. Patty Jenkins killed it with Wonder Woman. So. I am not mad that the fact that you, you can't even blame Thor being bad on Natalie Portman. That's upset. No, I, I, <laughs> I was making a, 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 a connection there, but no, I agree with you, but she was in that movie. So, and she's awesome. No, no. someone, someone, someone in chat said they didn't like her in star Wars. She's ter She's a terrible actress. Or are you really – you're going to tell me that Natalie Portman was bad in the Star Wars trilogy? That is yes. the worst ever? Yep. You really think we were, The Phantom Menace was bad because of Natalie Portman? No. She contributed it to oh, being bad. Attack of the Clones bad because of Natalie Portman? No, but she contributed it to being bad. The Sith bad because of Natalie Portman? Yes. No. She right. died because she was sad? I mean, that's writing, but come on. I <laughs> – Yes, John's comics is with me on this one. <laughs> at least Natalie Portman was really nice to look at in those really bad stuff. John, John's coming in here with logic and stuff. I'm not I'm not with that. This, this is why John's comics with kids has 700 subscribers right now, because he speaks truths. I'm speaking the truth. He's speaking logic. Nope. Let's just say Phantom Menace holds up for the startup. It only holds up because of the Darth Maul fight. Like Darth Maul versus Obi Wan was like to this day, it's amazing. But other than Darth Maul and Obi Wan, Evan McGregor and Darth Maul saved that movie. <laughs> what, what's his name? Evan. Evan, Evan McGregor. Yep. Is that what you said? Ewan. How do you, you say? You said that? Evan. Yeah. Is it not Evan? It's not Evan. What is it? Ewan, or e Ewan. 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 That's a dumb name. <laughs> <laughs> Duel of the Fates. All right, so let's let's keep this rolling. Um, what am I on? I think it's your, it's your turn. My turn. All right. I was really, 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 really hoping TJ would be here for this. I don't remember whose chat it was in when I first got it back into this comic thing. Somebody was was dogging this book, and I said, one day, I'm going to get me a nine point eight. I got me a 9.8. I don't give a care. You guys can hate me. I don't care. I had this book when I was a kid, and now I have a 9.8. 
there is no nothing graded higher, I don't think. And and yeah, I'm I'm very happy with this book. I'm happy I got it for the price I did. Rated and higher. I love it. What? There's not one nine point nine of X Force One. I don't think so. I don't believe you. Let me look. There might be like one or two. I'm looking. It's funny because we talked about this, how the, that book is not very great. Like not a lot of people get it graded uh, and you were like, it's kind of scarce. And I'm like, it's because it's trash. <laughs> there are zero nine nines, zero tens. How many, are, how many total are graded? Cause it's really a small number for as many of those. Thir 1356 total. 1356. There are 245 9.8s, 234 blues, 11 uh, signatures. Isn't that crazy? There's, yeah. there's more Showcase 22s that are graded than X-Force 1s. It's, also, it's rare. No I'm kidding. Worth <laughs> it. I'm honest to you guys. <laughs> but it's, it's, you know, it's part of your childhood, and that's that's what we – like. that's all that matters. It's a, it's a book that – made you happy when you were younger it's a book that you collected yeah and like i said i said i i you guys can can yeah slam me i'm fine with that but I, i'm i'm very happy i got that in a 9.8 yeah it's definitely i mean i, I do that with crap books all the time <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. i'm not kidding i just think it is funny that tj calls it packing packing paper. yeah well and so he he posted something in one of the groups that he and i are both in and and I said something, and I posted a picture of that book, and he didn't. I just lobbed that up there, and he didn't. He didn't take it. I, I actually messaged him like, "Why didn't you? Why, why didn't you take the bait, man?" He's like, "I didn't want to be mean." <laughs> There's sealed X Force ones with a Deadpool card for ten dollars. Oh, there is TJ. Dang, did TJ like? Were you catching up? What, what just happened, TJ? Because he's being kind. You you can. I'm I'm big boy TJ. If you want to want to bash me, that's okay. But I'm happy with that book. <laughs> no, nope. well, he just he just came in, John. So, um, thanks for showing up, TJ. It's always a pleasure to have you. It's my first live stream, TJ. I'm, I'm very honored that you're here. Is this really your and John's time? here too. I mean, I'm I'm not knocking any of you guys. I'm happy that you're all here. Like, uh, this isn't really my stream, but I'm here and people are like watching. I know they're watching you, but they're like, who's that that guy? He's oh, he's kind of cool. I like sure. him. Everybody, guys, this is this is Whoopty Bert. If you're Hi. watching the replay or if you're here, um, I'm gonna make sure I put his link in the description below. So definitely go sub him up. He's got some some fun little videos. Big Colts fan, you know. I am. Look, look at all that stuff back there. That's the Peyton Manning wall behind me. People are Colts fans. Oh, look, there's a there's a jersey from the uh, the game we went to there. I've been here from the start. He was just he was just. <laughs> so, 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 so what do you think, DJ? You like that? I mean, it's a good looking book, man. Nine point eight white pages. I like it. <laughs> We, we, we're Colts fans, but we're got to rep that avalanche because yeah, that, that avalanche. Indiana doesn't have a hockey team. So anyway, all right. So I've got I've only got two more books. So if you want to show off some I other, have, I have three more. All right, go ahead and pop them up. All right, this is the so this is my uh, a submission that I did. So the last three books I, I submitted all of them. Um, this book was the. Book that kind of got me back into collecting. This first book I like purchased that wasn't a, a new release or anything like that. Um, this was on the Iron Lions uh, Wednesday sale. Uh, I don't remember. I think I paid like seven, eight bucks for it, something like that, which probably was a little more than I, I probably could have got it somewhere cheaper. But um, sent this in. This is uh, Catwoman number eight. Um, Art Germ was doing all these covers and then there was this Ben Oliver cover. Um, and that's, that's this, what this is. A lot of people, I see this selling on eBay as a art germ cover. It is not an art germ cover. It is Ben Oliver cover. I honestly, um, I love Ben Oliver. It actually says right there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but this was, uh, this was one of my first, in my first submission and it came back 9.8. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I was very happy with that. It's uh, I, I wasn't expecting it to come back anything less than 9.8. I mean, it's a good-looking book. It was new. Um, but the only reason I slabbed it is because this is the book that 
uh, got me back into collecting. This is kind of this is what I consider the the book that that started spending all my money that my wife bitches at me about. Uh, who was the guy that got you back like the rookie bird? Oh, um, guy, some guy messaged me. I was on this. Uh, I was on this uh, break group, the Iron Lion does sports cards through their break, and some guy just messaged me out of the blue, and he's like, hey, you should look at comics. And I was like, yeah, cool. <laughs> it was you, man. You know it was you. That's why my wife hates you. I'm just kidding. She doesn't hate you. Back in the comics one at a time. No, my wife doesn't hate you. Or does she? Maybe. What she tells she, me she doesn't. What does she think you're doing right now? Uh, she probably thinks I'm playing DVD. <laughs> <laughs> all right then. Now, all right, am I doing all mine, or are you doing? Are we doing back and forth, or how you want to do it? I can I can go back. Um, I'll I'll, I'll pick up another one. Uh, I am a huge Ben Oliver fan. Like I can't even tell you how much I love him. His work on the Magic Order so good. That was a good. That was a good run. I like that. Yeah, I, yeah, I read that because of you. You should look at his variants for the Magic Order. Or I, have, I think I have a few extra copies. I can just give them to you. All right. So that one going there. And then the last two comics. Nice, John. Sorry, I'm, I'm cut, cutting Matt off. I, I have a ton of the uh, art germ of those Catwoman books. I God, I just love his his Catwoman art. Okay, I'm sorry, Matt. Go ahead. Melody. Uh, John says, Kate says hi to Melody. Sees her in the background. Oh, hi, Kate. <laughs> Scooby Apocalypse cover from Ben Oliver. He's just good. I want. I would love a Ben Oliver commission. Not even gonna lie. Um, so these last two books that I have from CGC just got back uh, with that, um, Superman's Pal, uh, and these are the two, in my mind, the two biggest books from any of TJ's ALPs to me, which is crazy to think that like that I had options, um, but these are the two that I had. Like these, I'm, I'm keeping forever. Um, they are obviously some of my favorites. My lowest X-Men and my favorite heroine. So we'll start with... Black Tar? We'll start with, with the best for last, if, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. But this is um, the X-Men 12, which is which was crazy. It was so... Like, the colors on this are out of control. This I, is, I remember when you pulled that out of the box. And you saw me lose it? Yep. <laughs> you even saw Reggie lose his composure a little bit. Look. Yeah, those that orange is just so good, man. Yeah, it's it's a really nice copy. Oh, he's he's straight marble now, John. He only he only gets uh, Green Lantern in DC. You know, so I've already gotten rid of my Incredible Hulk 181. I don't have an Incredible Hulk 180 anymore. I'm keeping my giant size X-Men one, and I will keep this. Because growing up, I mean, I, I did, I was a huge fan of um, the X-Men TV show. So X-Men has always been a, a big part of me. I just never read the comics. I, I always just watched the TV show. And X-Men Evolutions was awesome. This came back. A 6.0 with off-white pages, which is crazy. Crazy. Oh, I didn't even. What's cover price on that, John? Like 12 cents? <laughs> <laughs> There's so what, 25, 30? <laughs> Why would I get rid of the Hulk 181 and 180? Because <laughs> he bought a big book. <laughs> Showcase 22 5.0 right there. I had to pay for it. And I'm like, Matt nah, Wolverine, you can go. <laughs> so this is yeah, X-Men 12. So, so excited to have this. Um, Juggernaut is one of my favorite villains, like from the TV show and stuff. He was just, he's terrifying. And seeing him in Deadpool 2 was awesome too. So. Yeah, like, like when he rips Deadpool in half. That's... Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> You saw the original X Men movies, like what X Men Last Stand was. X Men was the Last Stand. No, it wasn't Last Stand. When, it was Last Stand. When when he shows up, and you're like, "What the hell is this?" Like, <laughs> and, and then you see him ex like you know explode in Deadpool too, and you're like, "Oh, that that is the Juggernaut!" Like, that was crazy. I was so excited about that. And you should. Well, Mar Marvel's doing an X Men movie, right? 
No, they haven't announced it yet. Because yeah, Dark Phoenix Jones. didn't do I well. love Vinny Jones. I do not love Vinny Jones as the juggernaut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're up. All right. Um, another Iron Lion purchase. Um, this was uh, all, all last three of these were purchased from the Iron Lion. Uh, this was a live sale purchase. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> it's, it's funny. I, I probably pissed somebody really off. The night, the way the night was going, they were putting up a lot of, uh, this is a Venom book. They were putting up a lot of Venom. And it was just like, claim Venom, claim Venom, claim Venom, claim Spawn, claim Spawn. And so I wrote in my little chat, claim Venom. And he said, four dollars or something like that i just hit enter and this was the book that came up nice venom uh lethal protector it's the first appearance of scream right yes uh first appearance of scream and <laughs> there were like 10 claim venoms that followed me and i'm like oh man i'm just trolling people i'm gonna buy this book but i'm just trolling people um so i sent it in to get it graded and that right there, you can't even see it. Yeah, a little color break increase. There's a little color break increase. Um, took me down. Got the Spider-Man uh, special label. Uh, all in all, came back pretty good. Um, I was hoping for a 9.6 or better, and I got a 9.4. So not bad at all. Um, I figure if Scream makes an appearance in uh, Venom 2 that maybe I could flip it or something and get – more than you know, I paid for it total to get graded and everything. But yeah, I I, I trolled somebody and, and got this book and probably pissed somebody really off. Do you did did they have the venom? No, it came July first. That's right. I, I dropped this off on May thirty first. Hey, Colin, sorry. Uh, I was I, a month I, off. If if they would have had venom, it would have been venom all the way. Yeah. But uh, I like I like the uh, the Spider Man. Um, I don't know if you, if you guys haven't looked in, into these. They they're doing these these Marvel ones. Um, it's five bucks. It it might screw you on shipping though. I I sent three books in. I sent two together. Um, this last book went by itself, and they shipped all separate. So yeah. I don't know why that. But maybe it's because of, because of this. But you but I, I love that. Look at that. That is just so awesome. I, really I love it. I don't know if I like the fact that the first appearance annotation on the back though. Well, it's not bad. I mean, it's still on there. Yeah. What's going on, Comics NYC? We you, saw you, you can go. get uh, you could send your uh, your first appearance to Glenn in and get a new new uh, Walking Dead. I, yeah. I might do that. Comics NYC. Uh, we we saw you were live and uh, we didn't want to interrupt, so we pushed our. Hey NYC, show. good to see you, man. Hey yeah. NYC, that uh, that backdrop you had for the for the night show that was awesome, man. With the with the buildings behind you. I know you're in a hotel and stuff, but that, that was pretty cool, man. We'll have to get together and do do some live shows and stuff, and I'll have to catch that replay. Take the time collectibles is in the house. Hey, this anyone time. who's new, drinking whiskey out of the uh, Supergirl glass. Mm, Supergirl. Does it taste like Supergirl? It does. Mm, that's a little, little fishy. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so comics and i see this is the uh x-men 12 from the tj aok the very first tj aok it came back as 6.0 after a press and clean and then last book of the bunch and i saved this one for last because it is a huge upgrade for me and i am so thankful you know tj actually messaged me and I, so I asked him like, "Hey, do you want to know the grades?" And he was like, "I he I don't think he did, uh, but we kind of like, okay, I'll show you the grades." So I looked because if, if he said he didn't want to know, I wouldn't have looked until today. Um, but uh, so I looked and I told him, and he's like, "I'm so sorry." Like, ex excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what the heck? Like, no, no. You, you do not have the right to be sorry because these are crazy, um, especially with Zatanna. Zatanna books have like jumped up um, 
And so that's what this is. This is that Hawkman 4 from the OG AOK -OK when it just said uh, HM4, and I didn't know what it meant, and I just lost it because this, this is super nice. The origin and first appearance of Zatanna. Very, very nice. 9.8. Oh my God! If it was a <laughs> hey, TJ, sorry, you got a nine point eight. <laughs> I would have sent this back to TJ because that would I would have been like, nope, you should sell this and buy yourself something crazy. But it came back a seven point oh. That was so nice, man. Which is still incredibly respectable considering. Wait, so what did I, you have before a four, a five? Five point oh, um, and my five point oh just has the the pen stamp up here, which I really like. But uh, yeah, so you're 7. keeping that one too, right? Was that? You're keeping the, the five with the pence? Yeah, I think for now. I might sell it when, if they ever have like some Satana news. Because it, I mean, I don't really know why I need two. Because no one likes Satana but me, apparently. Apparently. You and Adam Hughes. Mm, Adam Hughes. <laughs> Pop Doc Comics is in the house. I don't know why I said that. Okay. I, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I know the last time Matt was live, he had John and Reggie. And you guys are like, oh, that's John and Reggie, and then I'm here today, so sorry. <laughs> uh, no, man. I, yeah, that is a, quite a drastic difference. <laughs> yeah, quite, quite, a, quite a step down. <laughs> uh, I think we work pretty well together, Moody Bird. I, I think so. I, I don't know. I love Reggie, man. I love watching Reggie. I don't know that I could have been on with Reggie. Reggie is very wholesome, and I'm not. Yeah. You are you are a different kind of animal. You know, <laughs> before before we met Donny Cates on Saturday, like when I first got there, when like when it just opened, no one was in line. Thank you, BS. I appreciate it. Um, some guy came up to the counter. The guy who was first in line at for Donny Cates, he came up to the register and he had a Amazing Spider-Man three hundred, and he was like, "Well, they can I get this graded?" And Sh Shelby just looked at him. She's like, no, we're not doing graded grading, but like, if you if you want information on that, and she like looks at me like she expects me to talk to this guy, and I'm like a customer. Um, Shelby's one of the owners of the Iron Line, and uh, so I'm like, okay. So I, I sit down and I talk to this guy about CBCS and CGC and the, the process of submitting, and I'm like, if you want a step by step process. You can go to, and I wrote it on uh, the Iron Lion card. I'm like, Reggie Simmons, I IFBB Pro. Go to this YouTube <laughs> channel. He is an affiliate for CGC, and he has, like, great tutorials on how to submit comics. <laughs> like, like, oh, thanks, man. I'm like, man, I could have shouted out my own channel, but here I am, like, hooking, hooking Reggie up with submission or uh, subscribers and stuff. I went to a... Uh... I went to a class at uh, Kapow, uh, one of our local, another local LCS and uh, local, local, uh, and another LCS. And uh, somebody was asking questions about grading and, and this and, and CGC. And some guy there, guy I didn't know, he's like, oh, you should check out Reggie Simmons on YouTube. And I'm like, yes, Reggie Simmons on YouTube. <laughs> it's always fun when someone's like, yeah. and, and I did say, I'm like, it's Reggie with one G. <laughs> Just the one. But yeah, I'm a. Uh obviously a huge Reggie fan. It's kind of fun meeting people that, that know who he is. And I'll be like, go on his channel. I'm on it sometimes. <laughs> Not like the last year, but before he was really popular, he would, he would invite me over. Hipster. Who's a hipster? You. I'm a hipster. Oh, you have tight pants. Cool. Yeah. I was cool before I, I was Reggie's friend before it was cool. You guys are oh, there you go. losers. <laughs> are we waiting on me? Is, is, is my last one? You, you've, is that your last one? Uh, just real quick, though, TJ, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I mean, obviously, there's there's not enough that can be said about the guy, but the fact that I have a X-Men 12 and a Hawkman 4 in 6.0 and 7.0 sitting here uh, that did not belong to me a little over a year ago is just madness. So Why? There, there are so many people that have been affected by you in, in, in such a positive way. So thank you. Um, for what you've done for the comic community. Melody, check your messages, says TJ. Okay. Nice. That's good, John. I like that. <laughs> uh, so tomorrow night is Golden Guys on Comic Core. I believe that's a Comic Core show, correct? Something in the chat. Why did the hipster burn his mouth on the pizza? 
He liked it before it was cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, that was John. Such a dad joke. Yeah, it's absurd. <laughs> John. Um, that's all I got, brother. So you're up. All right. Uh, my third and final slab. I have six total. I'm, I'm big time, right? You guys, you guys, are like, yeah, that guy sucks. Um, <laughs> this was a uh, Iron Line purchase. This was in their case. Um, I saw it. I'm like, oh, that is cool. I pulled it up, and I'm like, well, that's a good price on it. And so I bought it. And then I regretted it. And then everybody's like, oh, this is the the they talked about cosmic and in, in endgame. It's it's blowing up. And I'm like, okay. So I decided to uh, the the cover is a Mark Brooks cover. Um Ooh, he's good. Donny Kate story. I don't have Donny Kate Sig on it. That that would have been awesome. Uh I I should have. I should I should have done it, but I, I didn't. Uh but uh Mark Brooks was at uh, Denver pop culture con um and so i brought this in got this signed uh this is uh cosmic ghost rider number one the mark brooks variant very nice and signature today it's kind of dark it's gold it's gold um i like it it looks good i, I was really conflicted on where to put it and what color and as long as he didn't do black i was happy uh, but this came back uh, as expected, 9.8, gold label. Uh, very happy that the three comics I submitted for my first ever submission, two of them came back 9.8, one came back 9.4. Um, I missed that 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 crease on the back, but I, I am legit not bad, mad about that. Um, yeah. But, yeah, Cosmic Ghost Rider number one, signature series 9.8. That would have been cool if you had cracked that and had Donny Kate sign it too, though. It would have been. I, I think my wife would have divorced me if I spent that money there. Nah, it would have been worth it. Maybe. Mark Brooks is hit and miss for me. Sometimes I really like his artwork, and then sometimes I'm like, mm, not so much. But for the most part, he's he's an amazing artist. I think it's only like because I'm so used to Adam Hughes and Art Germ drawing. Oh, fucking Adam draw Hughes, man. Like, mm, man, Adam Hughes is better. Let's see. I'm going to throw up some. I got an Art Germ in here, a recent one. Sounds good, John. We'll talk. We'll talk on the trailer. Look at that, man. So good. His it's so good. To change his art style is just. It is so good. His that that run on on Catwoman he did. Oh, dude, those first seven, I think, so good. Yeah, it was really good. Thank you, TJ. But yeah, I mean, so I, that this is a this has been pretty good. We we made it to a full hour. Oh, you wanted to go thirty minutes. <laughs> It had to be done. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit hit the bed. I'm gonna literally gonna like log off right to bed. Okay. We'll <laughs> I'm not. I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm probably gonna drink a little more. All right. Well, you should uh, live stream. So if you guys saw the thumbnail, yeah. <laughs> if you saw my thumbnail, it was not comic related. It's a uh, I did a dead Dead by Daylight thumbnail cover picture um, because Whoopty Bird and I like. The things that we've connected on have been comics, sports cards, the Colts, and we started playing Dead by Daylight together. And, and even though I'm playing on Xbox now, he's still playing PC. <laughs> PC Masteries. That we enjoy talking about. Just another half hour to say goodbye. Nope. That's yep. I'm um, gonna I'm gonna extend this as long as we can go. Anybody else in, in the chat play DVD? Nope. We're deleting you. See ya. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, Actually, if you close out, I stay, right? Does that stay live? I guess if you go, you don't go live anymore, it doesn't last, right? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not either. I see an Ed Broadcast thing. Um, TJ, thanks for the heads up on using uh, Yard, StreamYard and whoever figured that out. Because this is, I really like the fact that we could be side by side without having to like, <laughs> like, what hey. <laughs> but uh we I, I want to thank thank you guys for coming I, I know this mass channel um i don't put out a lot of content uh I, I i enjoy doing a video every so often i do enjoy collecting um i do enjoy watching you guys even if i'm not liking and commenting all the time um i just want to thank you guys for coming out watching and 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 not slamming me too much um even though i have an x-force one 9.8 <laughs> Oh wait, wait, TJ, TJ's commenting now. Hold on. 
All of them. Let's see. I think these are. I think this is Cable and Deadpool. <laughs> you're, you're busting them open. Yep. There's there's a Deadpool. That's a lead. <laughs> you this has to be Cable. Yep. Okay. Well, those are the only two I, I bagged and boarded. The others were were opened. Yes, geek. Officially. Yeah, John. See, I, I, I mean, it gets it gets bashed, and I understand, you know, Liefeld, his feet, and everything. But those were the comics when I was in high school that I collected, and so I, it, it was, it was actually important for me to have an X Force one nine point eight. My goodness. I mean, I have. I was like five years old. <laughs> I have this one too. I mean, this was the same that same time, right? But that's a Jim Lee wraparound cover. That that is nice. I love that cover. Yep, that is a good cover. All right, well, with that, I'm right. going to use the rest of my whiskey, so cheers. Cheers, brother. And uh, I will have Whoopty Birds link in the description below. And Yeah, I'm check me out. If you guys don't like me, that's fine. I'm okay with that. And if not, you'll probably see him in some chat rooms uh, being a total troll. Yes. <laughs> I, I love I love being a, a mild troll. I'm not too much of an asshole, but a little bit of one. So if you want to see more of Whoopty Bird. I'm older than you, John, so you're good. Right, right in the comments that you want more Whoopty Bird and less me. And <laughs> we'll get him, we'll get him live more often. I, I had fun, man. I appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for having me on. I, I really appreciate it, guys. I, I really do. Everyone in the chat, thank you for hanging out. We appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Bye.